all churches, certainly all Church of England churches on the whole now, are separate charities. We don't receive any fundraising um, other than the donations that our congregation or other people give us. So quite a lot of people think that as with the, as with, as with the established church, probably the government gives us some money, but well, we don't receive any, any government funding. It all comes from um, mainly from people who come to church, who give to their church. Uh, there's sometimes people very generously uh, might leave us some money in their will. The deal between the parish and the diocese is that the diocese provides the church with a full-time parish priest. We also make a contribution to the diocese for keeping our priest in the church and it's called the Common Fund. And every year the PCC has to decide how much we're going to pay. And it's a substantial amount because that means that Father Bruce gets to stay and that's important. Right, so we only get a priest if we contribute towards the common fund. Yeah, the money that we put in is like this big bucket of the, of the diocese that, who then, you know, pay their stipends and out of that. Our relationship with the diocese is, so I'm, I'm a priest in the Diocese of London. Um, my, um, I, I answer to the bishop um, and I um, am the rector of, of a parish and a parish church currently. Um, and the deal between the parish and the diocese is that the diocese provides the church with a full-time parish priest. Which is yourself. That's right. And, um, and so that comes with, with, with lots of cost to the diocese and what those costs are made up of is, is I get paid a stipend which means that um, I get paid a certain amount of money which means I don't then have to go out and earn a living. Um, I get provided with a vicarage, uh, so, so a house um, and also I'm very great, grateful that the church will look after my pension needs when I'm older and obviously they have on costs for employment as anybody else does. What we would like to do is to um, not be in a position where um, the diocese is having to subsidise us quite as much as it is. We would like to pay the full costs of a full-time priest. feel that a, a church in the, in the place where we are, in the sort of community that we are, we should be really trying to close that gap. Because ultimately other churches in their giving to the diocese and the diocese's own, um, own funds um, are having to subsidise us. And we would rather uh, be a parish which isn't being subsidised by the diocese. I think that's a really important thing I'd want to say. Not at the moment, no. No, we're running at a loss, frankly. It's touch and go right. that we're getting that. Like people in their homes, our, our utility bills increase a lot. As people who come to church here know, um, we'll never win any awards for, for being the hottest church in the Kingdom of God. Um, so we've been quite responsible with about our heating um, and our lighting. We're very careful with what we do. We have paid staff. Um, so the, uh, for example, the um, the music director is salaried. Um, the hall manager is salaried. 
uh, my bookkeeper, I say my bookkeeper, the church bookkeeper, <laughs> is salaried. I mean, it's not, but obviously we need to, to keep these people. The, the kind of ongoing costs of, 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 the, of the buildings, keeping the buildings going, um, and then our buildings, obviously we've got um, this building, our parish church, which is a fairly modern building. It was only finished in 1959. We also have a church hall. We also have a second church building, which is um, St Mary's Tower in Hornsey, which is a grade two listed building. So our buildings obviously require quite a lot of maintenance. And what's challenging about church buildings, like any um, uh, um, old buildings of different ages, is you never quite know what they're gonna need, what's gonna come up. So last year, I think our expenditure was something like 175,000 pounds. So if you work that out on a daily basis, that means to run the church, which means Hornsey Parish Church as a whole, costs about £475 a day. So that's kind of what we need. That's what we're looking for. Each year, we run the risk of, 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 of and, and, and we can be quite close to a deficit. They want churches to pay the full whack, which would be 90,000 a year, which obviously we couldn't afford because we don't have nearly enough in terms of income to, uh, to justify that. And therefore, I, I think it is fair to say that um, if anyone is, 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 is considering um, or, in a, or is in a position to increase the financial support they're able to give us, or anyone who's thinking, well, I don't support the church financially at the moment, um, but I wonder if I could or should, I've, I think I'd want to say to them, now is the time to do it. So in terms of what we'd li like to get is, is um, we would like to get, um, as, as, I've, as I've mentioned, I think, if it were possible, that people's regular donations were able to increase, which would mean that um, some of the income that we generate ourselves, like our hall income, um, that therefore was more available to do some of the other things that we'd like to do. Do you, do you have in mind how much extra money you, you, you're looking for, or would you like to put some sort of scale on it? Or if, so, you know, if someone was giving a certain amount what should they be thinking about in terms of the extra they need to contribute or, would, or you'd like them to contribute? Do you have any thoughts about that? It's always an awkward question for a parish priest to answer when somebody says, how much should I give? Um, because it's, it's impossible to say a certain amount, obviously. And it's, a, it's quite a challenging time to talk about uh, money and donating because, of course, a lot of people are struggling. Um, people's outgoings have increased. I can certainly point to um, ways that um, different Christians would try and answer that. In scripture, um, we're encouraged to give a proportion of our income. So whether our, our income is 10 pounds a year or 100,000 £100, pounds a year, um, to be encouraged to give a proportion of that. Now, in scripture, it suggests about 10% of that. Now, um, the Church of England says, well, um, what might be a realistic amount for somebody to think about is, is how about um, thinking it around the terms of, you know, 5% of your net income. What would that look like in terms of giving away? That's not necessarily giving it all to the church, although, you know, obviously that would be a nice thing, but, but um, and certainly for me personally, I try and aim aim to do that, to give about 5% of my net income away to charities. I give, I give some money to this church and to some other charities too. And the reason I do that is partly because I want to support those different causes. But also, I, I, I believe that it's something that as a Christian I'm, I'm called to do, that to express my gratitude for what I receive in terms of 
income in terms of financial security, and certainly I have uh, far more financial security than many people do. Um, part of the way that I express my gratitude for that is, is, is an offering that back. And, and of course, it, it, it needs to be, I think, um, it, a sensible and honest conversation. And this is a conversation that we're always happy to have with people about what is realistic to give. And there will be some people who will have demands on their, on their means that are really quite invisible. So we can all look at somebody else and think, well, surely they can afford this, they can afford that. But we may not know what, what the demands are on them um, and the things that they face. But I think that having a sort of um, sensible uh, um, conversation, a compassionate conversation, but I think we also are called to be as generous as we can be. And have you got a message for people who perhaps genuinely feel they, they haven't got any more that they can give in terms of the money, other things that they might, might do, for example. Well, the thing I'd want to say to anyone who gives us anything is a huge thank you. A huge thank you, because um, however much um, in any year it might be touch and go, um, we keep going. And we only keep going through the kind donations of other people. I mean, are there any last words or thoughts you'd want to leave people with? I want to say to people that um, whatever they can give, be it financially or with their time or with their commitment, but also what's important that we've not really mentioned yet is just as important is to receive people's encouragement and their prayers for what they do for us. And there are many people who perhaps were much more active in the church previously who are unable to be active now because of age or other circumstances. And their support is still enormous and much of their support is through them praying for us and all that we're doing. And the last thing I want anyone to feel is that they were at all um, embarrassed or self-conscious because they can't give anyone. And I think that it would be quite wrong for them um, to go without in other parts of their lives. Um, but I think I just want to encourage everybody to ask themselves the question realistically, can I give a bit more? Um, and also, if there's anybody I think who feels um, that they have any ideas about how we might um, encourage people to support us and give more to us, I'd really like to hear from that. I'd want to say um, again a huge thank you to everybody who supports us and um, just to say what a huge privilege it is for us as the church to, to serve in a community like this. Anyone's welcome to come and be, be part of it in whatever way they'd like to.